Hey guys and welcome to Work and Play. I'm uh, just going to do a quick video today about re-waxing uh, wax finish uh, canvas or uh, wax finish cloth. Um, I do uh, all my own re-waxing. Um, I've got a wax barber jacket um, and a dry as a bone coat but uh, today I'm going to be re-waxing uh, this item which is um, a bag I actually found um, somebody was throwing it away um, and it's been super useful um, but it's about to head over to Europe with me and I just wanted to give it a quick re-wax uh, before we head over uh, to protect it from the uh, European winter. I'm sure it'll be um, pretty damp and raining over there, so I want to give it a, a quick wax. So what we're going to do today is just do a, a quick spin through um, of showing you how to do it. It's super easy, you can do it at home, um, and it should protect your items, your clothes and jackets and whatnot, um, and give you plenty of years use out of them. Um, so without further ado, I'll just go through the um, the items that we've got today. So we've got the item that you want to rewax, uh, we've got uh, just a piece of cardboard down on the table to protect it. Um, I've got a cloth, or it's, this is actually a, a sponge that I use. I have used previously uh, for waxing. Um, and then over here, on top of the washing machine, uh, we've got our wax, which is just at the moment beginning to bubble away in um, a saucepan full of water. I want to get that um, wax melted down. Um, and ready so once that's all nice and melted uh, we'll come back to you and I'll show you how to get on okay guys so I've got the uh, dry as a bone um, oil skin reproofer um, which is a wax which um, has been uh, melting away in my little saucepan for probably about 10 minutes or so um, and it's all melted and pretty thin um, I've also got my sponge, which um, I put outside in the sun, and the bag itself, which has been outside in the sun. So I'm just going to dip a little bit in and give it a wipe. So don't worry too much if you get some bigger bits because we'll sort that out a little bit afterwards but all we want to do right now is trying to get as even a covering as possible right across the bag nice and thin not so it blocks up in any one spot obviously I've got my gloves on because the wax is pretty hot And I don't fancy burning myself. And as I said, you don't have to go too nutso in the edges or trying to get into every sort of nook and cranny. Um, and I'll show you why very shortly. So I'm gonna go and do the rest of this bag. Uh, so I'm not boring you guys and uh, I'll come back to uh, the, the sort of second part of all this. Okay guys, so uh, the bag is now uh, absolutely covered in wax. Um, as you can see, uh, just along the edges here um, and on the back it's even easier to see. You can see there's like quite a bit of a build up on the seams. Um, and what we need to do at this point is we need to get the wax to penetrate into the bag a little bit more. Um, the other great thing about the gloves is, um, as I was saying about wearing them earlier, is when you get little bits like this, you can just kind of rub them in so that it's nice and even. Um, because yeah, sometimes when you're putting it on with the sponge, you'll get a sort of thicker bit at one part and a thinner bit at another. Um, I mean, you can see here as well, at the moment it just looks a little bit gross um, and we need to sort that out. So what you need is a trusty one of these. This is um, a heat gun. Um, one of the things it's used for is for uh, stripping paint, but um, obviously whatever you need um, quite a high heat for. Um, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna put it on a fairly low heat to start with. I'm just testing it on my arm so it's not, once it sort of gets, to the point where I can't bear it, but it's not gonna burn anything. I'll just start running it 
over the seams. And as you can see, in fairly short time, it's just going to remelt that wax that we applied. And you can grab your sponge and just give it a quick wipe. And this is really good. It works exactly the same on coats and other bags and things like that. And it just allows the material to warm up. It's going to open those fibers and the wax is going to be distributed evenly. And already you can see where all that sort of waxy buildup was has gone um, and it's now penetrated. Um, so I'm going to finish and do the rest of this bag. Um, once I've done, uh, we've got a nice hot day here in Sydney. Um, so I'm going to leave the bag to, um, to hang in a sunny spot, which will, again, just keep all the bag nice and warm and allow the wax to penetrate. Um, and then once that's done, I'll probably leave it um, 24 hours. I'll probably just go over it with a cloth and just make sure that um, there's no other sort of bits that are, are too obvious. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's, as I said, it's not, a particularly difficult thing to do um, and you get a nice easy, easy finish and it'll be nice and waterproof uh, for when you're out in the foul wet and cold um, of uh, winter time so that's it for this quick video from me uh, don't forget to uh, like or subscribe um, and always, as always don't forget to comment if you do things a little bit different if you've got some tips on how you things uh, on how you do things um, I'd love to hear them. Thanks very much.